Why did the clone troopers switch from Phase 1 to Phase 2 armor before the end of the Clone Wars? Phase 1 clone armor was a durable plastoid suit that protected a trooper from shrapnel, radiation, the vacuum of space, and all but armor-piercing blasters. It intentionally resembled Mandalorian armor, acknowledging the heritage of the clone template Jango Fett. However, it was heavy and uncomfortable to wear, particularly when sitting. This is because the Kaminoans were unfamiliar with human anatomy and thus crafted armor that, while effective, was uncomfortable for the clones. Phase 2 clone armor was introduced after the first year of the war and was a vast improvement, with lighter and stronger plating and improved comfort for the clones. However, it did not contain a built-in life support. Phase 2 helmets were also said to have poorer visibility, leading to one clone welding together his Phase 1 and Phase 2 armor, but that's a video for another day.